program. You heard Dr. Ava saying there that the way to deal with this is through diet and to address the lifestyle issues. Do you agree? No. <laughs> Sorry. But I mean, you're you're so a medication factors. man, is that right? Sorry? You're a medication man. No, no, no. Hold well, on. Tell us, I'm tell a doctor us what the, and a scientist maybe, but I think you should get things in perspective. And it's not people's fault that they are overweight. And diabetes isn't a condition of obesity. It's a condition of the beta cell in the pancreas not being able to produce enough insulin. And they've looked at the genes to see what's the genetic component of diabetes. And they've found about 27 different genes. And virtually none of them are related to obesity. They're all related to defects in the beta cell that secretes insulin. And they've done a study in the Steiner Hospital in, Den in uh, Denmark that was very recently published. And this was a 20-year study from one of the most famous diabetes hospitals. And they looked at a group of 150 patients. And half of them they allowed to be treated in the usual way by their general practitioners. And the other half, they intensively modified their lifestyle and their cholesterol and their blood sugars. But they did not include diet because diet is a hopeless treatment. 90% of people who go on diets don't succeed. And of those 10% that do succeed, 90% of these regain their weight. Okay. So if you had a tablet that had that effectiveness, it wouldn't get through the Drugs Advisory Board. They'd say it's hopeless. Okay, there, are four the patient, there are four patients for of obesity is bariatric surgery. Okay, we'll, we'll let Dr. Ava respond to that. There are Thank four you. patients in this studio here who have either reversed or stopped the progression of type ty their, their type 2 diabetes because they have lost substan the substantial amount of weight. Can we see them? Where are Dr. Ava's uh, patients? We just see you here, okay? And, you know, I'm not there. the only one. Professor Taylor, and you know, Professor Tomkin, how much in very interesting studies has been done in Newcastle and the Newcastle studies. I see this in my clinic on a daily basis, and this studio wouldn't be big, big enough to fill all my patients who have either reversed or improved their condition hugely by weight loss.